my name is Amy and I'm here to share my testimony on how I came to the Lord. So, um, at a very young age, I knew what partiality was, I knew what division was, I knew what favoritism was, because, um, because I experienced that I was the one that was less loved by the family, I was the one that was always rejected by the family, and I was just always grew, grew up being that independent child, and I always thought that I didn't need anyone because of the way I was brought up. And um, I went to church all the time. I, 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 was, I had 100% attendance at church, but I never felt church, you know. Um, I went Easter camps just to try to feel whatever that, because I'd always felt empty. Just growing up, I had so much family, but none of them could fill that void that was inside me. The void was just a, it was an endless hole, you know, in my heart that, it wasn't there physically in my heart, but it was spiritually in my heart. And, um, no one in this world can ever experience It's really hard to explain. Before I came to the Lord, I was targeted by the enemy at a young age. He made me turn against my family. He made me grow so much bitterness towards the Lord. And um, hate is a very strong word, but I hate it everywhere. And I even hated the Lord. And um, it even got to the point where I just, I just told the Lord I didn't want anything to do with you. I didn't want a relationship with the Lord. And, um, and I'd always do all these things just to make myself feel happy. I'd always go get more friends. And I'd always go like, um, just go spend time with a lot of people just so that I could feel happy. But the happiness never lasted. And it was just something that I never really understood why. And um, it wasn't until one night I had a dream and, and the and the Lord was just really appearing to me. Um, he just showed me that I was digging a hole. I was just really crying out to the Lord. I was like, I'm lost. And I was still digging and digging and um, I found that I hit rock bottom. And I just really cried to the Lord. I was like, I hit rock bottom. And he said, I am the rock. You finally hit me. And that's just what really got to me the most. And um, it was that same night where I had fellowships with um, Pastor Nolo and uh, with all my other cousins and we all just had fellowship and we were just all talking about the Lord. Um, baptism came up and just everything. And I didn't really understand baptism at the time. Um, but yeah, just for them to bring it up was really beautiful. And when we were having fellowships, um, the Holy Spirit just filled the room. We sang a tongue in song, but um, there was just um, one guy, um, Brother Nate, he was sitting there. And the Holy Spirit just really just translated the song to him. And the Holy Spirit was just really dwelling in that place because the room was so hot and it was just so beautiful to see the Holy Spirit move. And um, it was that dream that brought me to the Lord, just realizing that, um, that nothing in this world can satisfy me. It's only the Lord. And um, ever since I've gotten saved, it's been the most beautiful thing in the world. Um, on the 15th of April 2017, I was, um, I was welcomed into the Kingdom of God. And um, what I am now is I'm a daughter of a king who has been freed, who has been found, and who has been saved by His grace. And um, what I just really encourage you guys is just to just give Jesus, just give Jesus a try. Um, just really accept him into your life because it will be the greatest decision that you made, that you've ever made, because it was the greatest decision that I've made. And, um, and I'm really happy in the Lord. So, um, praise the Lord. And um, I love you so much. Jesus Christ is real. Amen.